What's up everybody, welcome back. Today I've got three tips for you for a more efficient thruster. First one is going to be waiting as long as possible before you engage your arms on the way up. What I mean by this is when the bars are racked across your shoulders, we're going to wait until we hit that full extension at the top of the knees and hips before you actually engage your arms at all. So coming down, big push up, launch it up overhead. Coming up again, big push up. If you hold the bar out here from your chest, it's going to or engage your arms too early. It's going to burn out your forearms, put a lot of pressure on your wrists, and it's not going to be a good time. So that's number one. Number two is on the way down. You want to think of disengaging your arms and just letting the bar kind of fall to your shoulders. And that's going to be the initiation of your way down. So at the top, disengage the arms, and then use the momentum of that to transition into the next rep. So you're locked out overhead, disengage, let it almost fall to your shoulders, and let that push you down, rebound you back up. So number three is thinking about the overhead position as your resting point. When you get up at the top, elbows are locked out, your chest is open, you can kind of pause here, take a deep breath, and as you transition into more reps, you can take advantage of that second piece, as I said, it's just letting the barbell fall, transition down, push back up. Alternatives is if you rest here, it's restricting your breathing, it's uncomfortable on the wrists, and you have to start your squat all over again. You're not getting as much momentum on the way down, especially when you're cycling reps. Okay, so just to recap, number one, wait as long as possible to engage the arms on the way up. Number two, disengage the arms on the way down, take advantage of momentum. And number three, think of the overhead position as your resting point.